Here with head coach Damian Hahn for our weekly wrestling update. Uh, coach, another successful weekend uh, for your squad, winning two duels. Uh, good to be back in Frost Arena. Absolutely. Uh, it was an exciting weekend, you know, being back in Frost and, and the crowd was amazing. Uh, Sunday in, in particular, um, you know, I think uh, getting our guys back from a couple long road trips is nice. Finishing out the remainder of the, the this season um, at home where they, they, they can train, they can be comfortable, they can sleep in their own beds uh, for the remainder of this, this season um, is it, good for them. And, and you know, we, we brought in Fresno and, and Stanford and, you know, full team effort, full team effort up and down the lineup. And uh, it was exciting to see. And I think something it was exciting for our fans. And uh, they put a good product out there. You started the weekend Saturday night with a 26 to 12 win over Fresno State. They did forfeit at a couple weights, made the score probably a little bit uh, wider of a margin than than you expected. But uh, some very close matches and, and guys came through with some uh, bonus point wins as well. Absolutely. Uh, you know, we, uh, you know, at this point in the year, uh, you know, first and foremost, you want your guys healthy. And I, I get it. I understand, you know, because uh, we had to do it a couple weeks ago and, and, and sit a guy. So I, I totally understand. Does it change the outcome of a duel? <clears throat> in some cases it can. Um, but Nonetheless, I thought our guys, uh, you know, performed. It, it was the effort that they put out there. Uh, they were they were firing. They were firing, on, you know, on all eight cylinders, and, and these guys looked good at this point. So, uh, yeah, may, you know, maybe it, it increases that that margin, that that, that score margin. But I still think if uh, they had some, you know, those guys in that lineup, um, you know, they would have been highly contested matches. And and you know, I, I, I guess I said I said the other day, you know, when we wrestle at home in front of our crowd you know it's hard to bet against us so I think uh, where we're at right now it, it was good and then you look at Sunday uh, kind of the same situation you know you know they forfeited at, at 149 pounds a weight that we're projected to win um, and and maybe we get the decision maybe we get the major tech faller or pin um, but uh, you, you know getting that the, the, the forfeit you know you get your six points um, but again you know their guy got injured the day before and, and it was it the smartest thing to put him out there against Henry probably not um, and and that's what you got to do as a coach you got to make those those decisions and say what is best for my athlete and you know, being on the road, they only travel with X amount of guys. They did not have another 49 pounder, so I, I get it, man. I, I totally understand. But you also shuffled your lineup and kind of had to show your cards early, drawing at 174, moving Tanner Cook up a weight class, and he comes away, gets the gets the ball rolling with a four nothing decision. Yeah, no, it was a it was a kind of a split second decision on us. Uh, you know, on paper, and I've talked about it all year. Uh, you know, we've been underdogs in a lot of these a lot of these matchups, and and it's all about matchups. So, uh, on paper, I think Stanford had us beat 18-15 on paper, and uh, we didn't know what was going to happen so we said you know what let's let's shake some things up a little bit and see what we can do and we were able to do that uh, we weighed in Kenny O'Neill for 165 we brought Garrett Jordan down down to 157 pounds and uh, you know we were able to kind of throw a couple curveballs and uh, it, it, it it was good uh, at the end of the day did we need to probably not but uh, we didn't know you, you know uh, so we did and uh, it, it worked out well and you know Tanner gets us starting with a decision right off the start and really got the ball rolling for us uh, heading into you know our horses 84 and 97 um, you know Carlson doing what Carlson does and going out there and really dominating and then Sloan picking up a huge, huge win. Uh, you know, on paper that looks like an upset, but, you know, knowing our wrestler and our athlete and where he is at this point in time, uh, we expected, he expected to win that match. And so um, to other people, it might have been an upset, but to him, to us, it was like, I right, mean, this is this is another day at the office for you, you know. So, uh, and then Blake Walters, and, and the ball just kept rolling, and uh, the guys looked sharp, and that's that was the biggest the biggest thing because again, this point in the year, um, you know, you got the highs and the lows, and, and it's a long season, and um, we just got to keep that momentum, keep that excitement that they're on right now moving into this coming weekend. Just to put things in perspective, from the Stanford duel, you win the first nine matches, thirty-four to nothing. Uh, lead end up winning 34 to four, but in those nine matches, 20 to nothing 
in terms of takedowns for the Jackrabbits compared to the Cardinal. Just up and down the lineup, guys doing their job. Yeah, I, did, I, I didn't know that stat. And, uh, someone mentioned it to me, and I was like, wow, I, 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 didn't, uh, I didn't realize. Uh, you know, because you're in the moment, and, and, and you know, you, there's so much action. And, and uh, there were a couple spots where we, we like Danny Vega almost gets taken down and, and, and fights through it and comes out and gets that score. And so, uh, I mean, awesome stats, and uh, I mean that you know your guys are, are are firing. You know, you know your guys are, are wrestling well when you can put up numbers like that. And so, as 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 a coach, you know, our, our, myself and our staff, we couldn't be more excited about where our guys are right now. You mentioned Tanner Sloan, big win, seven two decision over Nathan Traxler, a guy who's been ranked in the top ten in some of the individual polls. Uh, gets Tanner the uh, Big Twelve Wrestler of the Week. Tremendous oh. honor for him. So uh, no, that's awesome. I did. I, I didn't know that. Uh, you know. The, you know. Congrats to Tanner. And I think. Uh, you know. Tanner's at a point right now where he's really starting to hit his stride. Um, you know. He's dinged up a little bit in, in, pre, in, in, in the early season. You know. Got hurt. And then. You know. Had the, had the the injury a couple weeks ago. And and so he he's getting back to form. He's getting back to form. Training's going well. And you know. A, a match against a top ten ranked opponent and a decisive win like that really shows you you know the progress he's being the progress that's being made not only from a physical standpoint mental standpoint but you know that that technical you know that technical uh, standpoint so um, again you know I, I couldn't be more excited for not only him but these guys and, and where they're at close out the regular season here at home duel against a big rival North Dakota State They've won six duels in a row. You guys have won five. Something's got to give. Yeah, uh, come it's going to be uh, it's going to be a barn burner. Uh, you know, I, I'm glad that it's at home. Uh, you, you know, this is this is our biggest rival uh, in every sport that we participate in. So, uh, <clears throat> you know, I, we we need the fans. We need the fans. Uh, you know, it's going to come down on paper. You look at it, and it, it could be a five-five split. Come down to bonus points. Uh, so, you know. Our, our crowd is going to is going to play a major key role in you know getting some of those bonus points for us, driving some of our guys in those situations where you know it's going to be hard fought. And every duel this year has been hard fought. So our guys know what to expect. Our guys know what to do, and they're excited. They're excited. This is this is the time of year where hey man, you lay it on the line and and, and you make something happen. Not only is it the final duel of the season, but it's also senior night. Say goodbye to six seniors. A couple of them, you know, Henry Fulmeyer, Zach Carlson, been in the lineup, mainstays in your lineup. But there's also a couple guys that have just kind of uh, uh, paid their dues in the program. Absolutely. Uh, you know, when you have a group of seniors, you know, you know, for me, last year we had we we, we had one, and and so now you have six. It's uh, you know, it's bittersweet, right? You want to get these guys through your program. You want to uh, see them graduate. You want to you want to help them in the next phase of their life, uh, but they're leaving, you know, and you, you don't want that. You, I mean, if, if I had my way, I keep these guys here forever if it, if it was possible but uh, you know we have a very good strong group of seniors uh, some leadership on there that is going to be hard to replace uh, you know you talked about Henry Pohlmeyer um, you know his time that has spent here I mean just just where he's come from and where he's at right now and he's not done so I, 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 I'm, I'm excited for you know the growth that has happened and, and where he's going uh, you got Zach Carlson oh my goodness you know when I got here uh, you know he was a 165 pounder you know bouncing around between one 97, 84, 74, 65, uh, you know, we get them up at 84 and, and, and it just took off and, and you see you see the development, you see where he's come, um, you know, and, and the pro progress he's made. And, and, you know, other guys, Kalen Morris, I mean, Kalen Morris has uh, struggled, you know, he, uh, with, with injuries, uh, you know, over the course of, course of his career. Um, <clears throat> Garrett Jordan, you know, Garrett Jordan is, is another guy that has been, you know, a staple in our program, you know, just an absolute workhorse, uh, you know, going through, uh, you know, the day to day grind and, and, and really relying on him uh, has been huge. Mar Marty Mueller, Marty Mueller, a senior, um, you know, a South Dakota boy and, and, you know, unfortunate this year he got injured, you know, over the summer and, you know, uh, tore his ACL and, and, you know, just trying to get back. Uh, get Get back to form, and then uh, you know, senior Lakin Cook, and, and and you know, coming from, from uh, New York, and uh, he's gonna be graduating here with a South Dakota State degree, and you know, I, I, again, 
a strong group of seniors, six of them. It's sad, it's it, you know, to see them go, but it's also uh, a great thing because we're putting out good people into into the world. So I'm excited.